Hello, this is Star. I'm Rose. Today, let's create a basic t-shirt in Close 3D using the traditional pattern drafting method, which is both easy and accurate. With this formula, drafting pattern has never been easier. Additionally, I will demonstrate how to fit the garment onto the avatar and simulate it to visualize the finished product. Lastly, I will apply top stitches and a graphic design to the t-shirt. Furthermore, the tutorial includes measurement and formulas. Okay, let's get started. Did you guys, before we begin drafting the pattern, I want to point out some formula and measurement here. So right here, we have two sections. One is measurement and the other is formula. So we will use this data as well as this formula to create this basic t-shirt. And if you guys have any question, please leave me a comment below and we are going to refer to this measurement and formula during our this course. Okay, let's get to it. So I'm here in Clo. First, I will use this rectangle tool here to create this first pattern piece. So the width right here is going to be 24.5 and then press on the tab key. The height is going to be 74. After that, I'm going to click on OK. Next, let's move the pattern up a little here. And then I'm going to create the internal line from top and center. To do that, I will use this Edit Pattern tool. Click one right here, right click, and I'm going to select Offset as internal line. So we need five internal line here. I'm going to type in five, press on the Tab key to confirm. And this then, we will select Individual. And Offset, I'm going to select Selected Line. And let's expand this window a little. So first value, we're going to type in 1.5. Then press on the tab key and then 4. Press on the tab key, then 25. Once again, press on the tab key, 35. And lastly, it is 63. After that, I'm going to click on OK. Next, we want to convert them to baseline. So right click and then select Convert to Baseline. And I want to lock them as well. I will do the same here. Click on the center right click and then select offset as internal line and i'm going to reduce it to four here and individual selected line perfect and right here the first value going to be 8.5 press on the tab key and right here going to be 21 and then press on the tab key and right here going to be 22 once again press on the tab key and then finally it is 24 and i'm going to expand this window here so after that i'm going to click on ok and I'm going to also convert them to baseline and lock them as well. All right, next we are going to draw a back pattern shape. We will use this internal polygon shot line tool here. Let's zoom in a little. We want to begin clicking one here, then come up here, then over here, then come over here. Zoom in a little bit closer. You can see the line right here, the one that before the pattern edge. And then come down here. We want to come down to this line and come down here. In this case, we will click twice here to end the line. Next, we will convert these to curve. We will use this Edit Curvature tool first. Click one right here and then drag it outward to create this perfect curve. The same right here. This is, we're gonna drag it inward here to create this perfect curve, just like that. And this one, we're gonna use different tool here. I'm going to use this Smooth Curve tool. Click, drag it outward, right click, and we're going to click on the link icon here first and then type in seven centimeter. After that, I'm going to click on OK. All right, next we are going to draw the front pattern shape. To do so, I will switch the tool to Edit Pattern tool here, zoom in a little. And we want to begin create first internal line here from the top. Click on it, right click. And then we want to select Offset as internal line. And I'm going to change the value here to one. Okay, let's type in one here. And then the value of number one here are going to be 12 centimeter. And then I'm going to click on OK. Next, we want to create two more internal lines from here. Click on it, right click, and then we want to select Offset as internal line. And I'm going to change that to 2. And right here, the first value here is going to be 1 centimeter. Press on the Tab key. Second value is going to be 1.5. And we want to check the reverse direction box. After that, I'm going to click on OK. All right, next, we are going to draw the front pattern. To do so, I will use this internal polygon shot line tool. Begin by clicking one here, then come over here, go to this top line first. Click one on the top line and then come down here to the bottom line. Click on there and then I'm going to come down here. We want to click twice here to end the line. And once again, convert them to curve. I will use this Edit Curvature tool. Click and then drag it in. We want this a little bit further compared to the back pattern, okay? Just like that. And right here, we're going to create this to turn this into curve, just like that. 